Hey guys, this is Nick Brown at JTech Today, and today we are going to be doing a common uh, technician truck alignment, heavy duty truck alignment. Okay, um, on my last video, what we did is we used a laser alignment tool on this truck and part of this truck. This today we're um, we're going to be doing the common man um, truck alignment system. Uh, basically what this is, is a non-laser alignment system. This is just something that you can have just laying around the shop that you can align the truck with. Um, so to start off, what we are going to be doing are the basic going through are the basic principles. Basically what you do is on a common um, alignment system, alignment setup, you're going to be wanting to start from the back to the front. On a laser alignment system, you're going to want from the front to the back, okay? In this case, we're doing from the back to the front, okay? What you're going to need is two basic C-clamps with a 10-foot um, steel beam. Um, cut it around 10-foot. Um, what you need to do is you take a 90 you take a 90 degree and you're going to basically you take the steel beam and you're going to equalize the distance, uh, the ends of it right here from this end all the way to the frame, right there where it meets the frame. Okay, you're going to make the distances uh, the same on each side. And you're going to 90 it out with the frame right here, 90 degrees, okay. Then you're going to hold it down with a C-clamp, okay, tighten the C-clamp, alright. Okay, this is basically what you can use as the 90. Um, hold this upside down. Make sure it's 90 out. Okay, make sure it's centered. And make sure these aren't damaged because otherwise it's going to throw off your alignment. Okay, take a piece of, uh, take some tape measure. What you are going to be doing initially is you're going to be measuring the distance from the tip of the steel beam all the way to the uh, center of the axle. Or, well, not necessarily that. Uh, you're going to be measuring from the tip of the steel beam all the way to where this white dash is on the tire. Okay. Measure it on the other side too. What this does is it measures the thrust angle, the true thrust angle for the truck. Basically, what that is doing is it is measuring the angle of the axle to the frame. It's squaring it up to the frame. Okay. Thrust angle can affect many factors. Um, it can affect uh, how the truck steers at cornering. Um, it can also uh, affect uh, extra resistance against the road. Basically what will happen is if these tires are pointed, let's just say, to the right about two degrees, um, which would also uh, inquire that these tires, those tires, are pointed to the right two degrees because the axle is not squared up with the frame. That will increase your road resistance, which therefore will decrease your fuel economy in the truck. Okay, You're talking about trucks that get about 45 miles to the gallon. If you decrease it by one mile to the gallon, that could mean, I mean, that can be tens of thousands of dollars a year spent in just gas um, for these trucks. So, therefore, alignment is very, very crucial for these trucks. Okay, part of the thrust angle, like I said with the tape measure, what you're going to be wanting to do is measure the distance between this tip of the steel beam all the way down to the white dash on the tire. Okay, um, let's just say that distance was greater measured than this distance. Let's just say this distance happened to be 24 and a half inches from this point to that point. And on that point over there we had 25 inches, so a half inch distance. Okay, um, that would mean since that side was greater than this, that would mean that these tires are closer to the frame then those tires are to the frame, which means the axle would be pointed in that direction. Okay? To the left. Okay? So basically what that would do is that is thrust angle. Okay? 
Next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be centering the rear axle or the front drive axle um, up to the frame. Now what I need to do is I need to take, take another 5 foot, 4 foot steel beam just like this one. What I'm also going to be doing, what I'm also going to be doing, so I'm going to be taking a tape measure, okay? I'm going to take the steel beam, and what I'm going to be measuring is I'm going to be measuring the distance from the sidewall of these tires, the farthest point out, all the way to the frame. Okay? Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so I measured the distance between the steel beam all the way to the frame. Okay, I have a distance of 31 and 3 quarters inches. Okay, we are going to be going to the other side. Okay, here I am at the other side of the truck. Okay, we got our distance of 32 and a quarter inches. On that side, I had 31 and 3 quarters. This side, I had 32 and a quarter. Guess what? I have a half inch distance greater on this side than I do on that side. So because this axle is needs to be centered up to the frame, what you would do is you would take whatever the distance is between those two distances and you would divide them by two. Okay? So I have a half inch distance. Guess what? This axle needs to be pushed a quarter inch that way. Okay? That is centering the axle up to the frame. Okay, so now what we are going to be doing is the true thrust angle between the front uh, drive axle and the steer axle. Okay, I have a piece of string with me. What I have is uh, at the end of the string I've hooked it to the frame. So no matter how far I stretch this, it's going to be a straight line. Okay, so now I've stretched it from one end to the frame and pressed it against the sidewalls on the tires. Okay, press it against the sidewalls on the front steer axle tire and the rear drive or the front drive axle tire. Okay, this can be done on any truck. This can be done on the truck with a uh, double axle. This can be done on the truck with uh, a single axle. Okay, what this is doing is it's the thrust angle alignment between the front drive axle and the steer axle to tell uh, whether the two axles are aligned to the frame at the same time. So we have the straight piece of string just rubbing against the sidewall of the right, uh, rear drive axle tire, or the front drive axle tire. Um, in this case, what you want to do is you want to, anything that's extruding past the sidewall of the tire, you want to remove. Uh, besides the steps, the steps, they do not come in the way. In this case, the fender, as you can see, is in our way. So you want to remove that. Okay, but for instructional purposes, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this here. And I'm just going to explain to you guys what this does, okay? Since this is the centering of the front drive axle and the steer axle to the frame, how to tell if these alignments or these measurements are off, okay? If you're looking straight at the piece of string, as you can see in the picture, um, let's just say... The rear of the front drive axle was pointed a degree to the left, which is that direction. Okay, that piece of string would not be touching the last part of the sidewall of the tire on the end of the front drive axle. Okay, and you would be able to tell. Same goes for the front axle. Now, here's the trick about this uh, measurement. You got to have the front wheel straight. You got to pull the truck in without hitting the brakes or loading the suspension because that could affect camber, caster. Um, there's a lot of factors to uh, measuring uh, true thrust angle between the front drive axle and the steer axle. Okay. So, since we're measuring the uh, true thrust angle from the front drive axle to the steer axle. In a perfect world, what this would be doing is it would just be barely touching the sidewalls of the tire um, on the front drive axle. And same goes for the steer axle, okay? In this case, we have a fender in the way, so it would not be touching the front or the steer axle, okay? But in a perfect world, it would, okay? Now, 
if it's not, if you don't have anything going past this point, and it's not, um, it's not touching the sidewall, okay, then you know that one of your measurements is off depending on which tire. It could be, if it's not touching the sidewall on the front drive axle, then you have a front drive axle fr problem, alignment issue. It's not touching the sidewall on the steer axle, then you have a steer axle problem. Okay, that could be affected through the toe. That also could be affected to see if the front uh, steer axle is aligned actually to the frame. All right, so with that, guys, that concludes this heavy-duty truck alignment video for the common uh, person, common technician alignment. So with that, guys, we'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.